yes. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, sweet, sweet, sweet nothings out there. You know who this is, don't you? Of course you do, of course you do. Of course you doest know who this is. This, my friends, is No Positive Radio, and my name, as always, is Paul Hullabaloo. I almost said hula hoop. What am I thinking? <laughs> Yay! Yay! I'm the Grinch. I'm the Grinch. Yay! Goo goo gee gee gaga. Gaga pee pee. What's going on, everybody? I'm noticing that I sound funny in my own headphones. I hope that you're hearing me correctly, because I sound friggin' funny right now. I sound I sound distant. I sound melancholy inside uh, the depths of my own brain. How do I sound to you? All right. I hope I sound all right to you. Do I sound too bass heavy, perhaps? Because I'm sounding a little bass heavy in my headphones. <laughs> and yet I'm technologically incapable of figuring out how to fix it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a good idea man. I'm not a good follow through man, though. <laughs> welcome to No Positive Radio. Welcome, 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 one and all, all my friends, my basement, my basement dwelling little droogies out there. Today we got a great show. Today I've 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 changed up I've changed things up. I've changed up the format of the show for for this week. Today I've decided I I I want to pretend I want to pretend to be a news broadcaster or I should call it an anchorman. I want to be an anchorman for a news broadcast. So today I've created a uh, uh, no positive radio. I I've created an episode of no positive radio that revolves around around the news. So we're going to be discussing the news. We're going to get down and dirty and serious, and we're going to discuss the news. And then, and then that's what we're going to do. And if you have a problem with it, well, Christ damn it, I don't care. All right? I'm Paul Hullabaloo. It's my goddamn broadcast, my goddamn program, my goddamn broadcast, and it's my goddamn program. Okay? Bill Parker, he's here in the house as always. Of course, you just were listening to Bill Parker, the host of the children's show, which airs from 5 to 8 p.m. here on WRIU 90.3 FM. Do you have a lucky penny there, Bill? Yeah, Bill found Lucky Penny. Billy got good luck like Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy Parker. Bill found a Lucky Penny. Newsflash. Bill Parker finds Lucky Penny. See, I'm already starting up with the whole news thing. So, uh, I'd like to dedicate the, this episode of the news. I'd like to dedicate it. I'd like to dedicate it, frankly, to myself. The following episode of No Positive Radio is dedicated to me, Paul Hullabaloo and all of my grandeur, and all of my holy, mighty nonsense. So let's not waste any time. Let's, you know, get into the, the shim-sham. So I'm going to play a little song, play a couple of ads, and when we come back, damn you, just don't be disoriented, because we're going to go straight into the news. Suddenly I will no longer be Paul Hullabaloo, master of chicanery. I will be Paul Hullabaloo, news anchor slash uh, uh, correspondent for news, for the news, the news, the news, the news, okay? Is that all right? Is everybody, are we in cahoots? Is everybody out there in cahoots with me? By the way, I just wanted to say real quick, I'm not, you know, I don't know about you people out there, how you feel about the winter. I, I, I think a lot of people out there, maybe, maybe, maybe 63% of people, 63% is the figure I'm going to quote, 63% of people out there that are listening right now, 63% of you are, are not offended by the winter, are not offended by the cold and the snow. And, 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 and um, um, 37% of you, apparently, 37% of you, do not like the winter and fall into like a seasonal affective disorder slash depression. I am part of the 37% of you. So for the other 36% of you, besides myself, I want to tell you all that I'm here with you. I'm speaking directly to you. The 63% the of you out there who, who enjoy the winter, you, I'm probably not making any sense at all to you. You don't understand what I'm talking about right now, but I'm just down and out. So later on after we do the news, I'm going to be taking your calls. So get near your phone, get in a warm, comfortable seat to listen for the net first half hour, and the second half hour I'll be taking your calls. I'm looking for some, some people to call me up, and I want to talk a little bit about sadness. Sa Ryan Garmasol, in the house, pull the mic over, Ryan. Tell everyone what's up. Not much, man. How you doing? Good. Programming director and uh, host and DJ of the hip-hop show on Wednesdays, Ryan Garmasol, <laughs> just stepped in. We're chilling together now. Ryan, your looks seem a little winded. Yeah, well, you know. I do know. Got to get ready for that marathon in October. <laughs> Ryan's a runner now. He didn't tell me that before. <laughs> Ryan, what, does the does the winter uh, offend you, or are you all right with the winter? I'm cool with it. You know, actually, 
That's funny you would say I'm cool or with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it's cold. Get yeah, it? Yeah. Daddy cold? Cool? <laughs> 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 awesome. <laughs> All right, go ahead. But you know what I mean? Well, I was kind of hoping for a little bit of winter before Christmas. You know what I mean? It's Why, are you a sassy pants? What, do you need a white Christmas? <laughs> I don't need a white Christmas, but it's just weird to see all the, the lights and the green stuff everywhere, and then it's like, I don't know, 50 degrees or however yeah, it, was warm nice. it was. it was nice. like a Florida Christmas. Yeah, I didn't like it. <clears throat> well, you're, I, I hate to inform you of this, but you're actually um, uh, you're, you're in the 63% of people who listen to the show who are, who are all right with the winter. Okay. I'm part of the 37% of people who are not all right with the mm-hmm. winter. And I was explaining to people who are listening, later on in the hour, they can call up and, and I, I, we can talk about it. We All can right. talk about people who like the winter and, and feel awesome. happy or normalized and people who feel depressed and degraded by the snow and the ice and the sleet and the hail in the winter. That's all coming up after, of course, the news. So after the song and an ad, we'll be Still back. Still working on getting a news girl for you. I want a news girl, God we, damn We it. should audition some, maybe. Okay, I want a news girl, I want a sports girl, a weather girl, mm. a, a back rubber. And a girl who just gives me uh, comforting eyes if I'm feeling a little, little, little shaky. Is that possible? Can we get on that? We'll, we'll do what we can. I know Bill help. Parker usually handles four out of the five of those jobs. <laughs> he doesn't give me the eyes, though, and that's, the, that's integral to my radio show. I know he wants to renegotiate <clears throat> now his contract and everything because of all, all these hats that he wears. He's full of secrets. Fire him. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> all right. I'm going to play some song. We'll be right back. This is No Positive Radio. My name's Paul Hullabaloo. I'm in love with you all. I know I tell you a lot, but I am. Here's my favorite band in the world. Check it out. Get ready for it. We'll be back.
This is your No Positive Radio News Report with anchorman Paul Hullabaloo, war correspondent Trike Tango, meteorologist Charlie Kim, and at the Arts and Opinions desk, Dirty John Winterbottom. And now, here is Paul Hullabaloo. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paul Hullabaloo, and here is tonight's top story. The International Assembly of Malicious Bastards has, after much internal strife, released its annual 2002 You Need to Be Murdered list. This year's directory contains a few names we remember from last year's list, as well as the inclusion of a few new additions to this well-favored and influential list. The top ten appears as follows. Coming in at number 10, Flan Jimson, the Danish inventor of cancer. At number 9, Carson Daly, pop culture sycophant and black nail polish wearing goon. At number 8, a new entry, John Monez, renowned beard wearing tattoozler. At number 7, Walt Disney, for still sitting hidden somewhere, drooling, pointing and laughing through the pain. At number 6, Jackie Chan, popular high flying chop socky fag. At number five, Uncle Joey from Full House for throwing off the way too cool for your own good curve. At number four, Pat O'Brien, handsome douchebag from Excess Hollywood. At number three, a surprise entry, Dirty John Winterbottom, perpetual show, no show. At number two, Brian Adams, Canadian songstress. And at number one, for the third straight year, ladies and gentlemen, your number one is... Robin Williams, Mr. Make You Laugh, Make You Cry. All of these lucky finalists should be both proud and in hiding. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in. Reports are absolutely pouring in from our No Positive News correspondents all over this newly unified nation. Reports apparently indicating that portions, I repeat, portions of this great nation are now allegedly underwater. I repeat... We have received numerous substantiated reports from in and around the continental United States that allegedly, in fact, large portions of our country have been submerged underwater. The country's most smartest scientists are reportedly calling this aqueous phenomenon lakes. I repeat, to clarify, reports are that lakes are now reportedly submerging various sections of our country underwater. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know that I am supposed to be an objective news journalist, but if I may be so bold, I would advise that we as strident American citizens carry on as usual in the face of this abject terror. Yes, we do not know where and when these lakes will strike next, but we must attempt to continue on as normal. Go about your daily business. Go to work. Do not keep your children home from school. Read the newspaper. Ignore your wife's needs. Otherwise, we do nothing but show these lakes that we fear them. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the lakes have won. In the immortal words of American patriot Tiny Tim, God bless us, everyone. And now, let's check out the latest weather, or I should say the latest weather report, 
from short and cute Korean meteorologist Charlie Kim. Charlie? Hello, everyone out there in Ra Ra Rand. I am Charlie Kim, and here's your no positive radio news weather report. There's weather over here. There's weather over there. There's great deal of weather in the middle, okay? Okay? You want weather? Here's idea. Look out window. There it is. You tell me. Flurries over here. Rain over there. Sun in the middle. You tell me. And I bet you think Charlie Kim is small time crook. Steering money from Chamber of Commerce. I think not. Beer Johnson is one to blame. Beer Johnson bring dishonor to my wife and kid. I come from honorable family. Now that all gone. He shamed me all over. Beard Johnson is full of Christ. Full of Christ if he thinks Charlie Kim break the raw. He just wants to be re-erected. Re-erected, okay? Okay? No way. What do I look like? Some sort of rapper? Who am I? Jay-Z? R.R. Cool J? I don't want a girl with extensions in her hair, bamboo earrings, least two pair, a trendy bag and bad attitude. That's not what I need to keep me in good mood. No way. Okay? Okay? That's the weather. I'm Charlie Kim. Back to you, Paul. Okay? Thank you, Charlie. Looks like we should all get out our galoshes. 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 GALOSHES! And now for this week's Yesterday's Child segment, I send it over to exploitation correspondent Paul Hullabaloo. Paul? Hi there, folks. Paul Hullabaloo here with this week's edition of Yesterday's Child. The mission statement of this selfless and strangely inappropriate portion of the news is to introduce you, the numb put upon every man, to a special child desperately in need of a home. A sick and scared little orphan throwaway who so longs for nothing more than a loving home and the blissful support of a nuclear family unit. That's all. Today's yesterday's child is little Frank Whimsy Jr., an affable and sensitive young lad with a penchant for non-destructive mischief and a weird crooked smile that could melt even a lukewarm heart. Frank Jr. stands at three foot four and weighs a remarkable 350 pounds. I know that seems like a lot, but remember, that's 340 pounds of bone, chub, muscle, and hair, and 10 pounds of pure caring. <laughs> Frank Jr. is a special needs child, and he requires some extra special attention. He is clinically what many leading psychologists refer to as a tongue chewer. At the end of the day, however, Frank Whimsy Jr. is a boy that any parent would be happy to neglect. But don't take my word for it. No, no. Let's take a sec to talk to Frank Jr. himself, okay? Hi there, Frank Jr. Say, son, what's your favorite food? Dreams. Cranky Nana. Uh-huh. So, Frank, tell us all. What would you like more than anything else in the world? Funny bones, <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, a little brother, huh? And a whittle puppy dog to licky-wicky those swollen jowls of yours? The dream of every little boy, <laughs> oh boy. Frank, I hear you are a little singer of songs. How about sharing one for everyone out there in TV radio land? Toys and disease and hurt broken knees. That's what Jimmy is made Wow-wee. of. Wowee! Folks, how do you resist this face? If you want to give Frank Jr. a home, just call our studio. Right now, Frank Jr. lives under the anchor desk, and he's been getting stiff necks. Come on, do your part. Say goodbye, Frank. And Jimmy, no, Jimmy. Oh, boy, back to you in the studio, Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in.
A new study released today by the Mount Wang Community College in Shunkville claims to have proven beyond a reasonable doubt that, in fact, obesity is the leading cause of fatness. The controversial research data was calculated by a core intelligence group of mathlete wizards and half-baked dicks over the course of the last two or three days. The results are sending shockwaves through the fat crap community, where many fatties still believe that being overweight is the unfair product of Negro voodoo curses and sexual abandonment. We here at No Positive Radio News will continue to follow this late-breaking story as it progresses. And now, a word from our sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Do you suffer needlessly from seasonal allergies or a feisty, irritable bowel? How about cough and cold due to chronic migraines? Have you been discovering more and more early warning sign canker sores? Well, if the answer is yes, then Pandora Industries Limited is proud to introduce to you its newest weapon against the rigors of discomfort. Meet Ditrexaset, a friend who will finally help to allow you to grab a piece of that peace of mind that you have always longed for. With Ditrexaset, you will partner yourself with the eternal springtime of calm relief from the wear and tear of the cold external world of every day. Ditrexaset is FDA approved and available in prescription strength, easy to swallow tablets now for a limited time in three relaxing colors, ruby red, purple trust, and baby blue chewables. Consult your physician soon about Ditrexaset from Pandora Industries Limited and its possible benefits to you. With Ditrexaset, serenity is right around the corner. Side effects may include nausea, vomiting, headache, acid stomach, runny nose, blister fever, pink eye, lack of erection, prolonged erection, bleeding erection, mouth and throat cancer, third stage hepatitis, religious indiscretion, spit lip, spinal displacement, itchiness, and short-term gender confusion. Ditrexaset, now available from Pandora Industries Limited, proud sponsor of No Positive Radio and the Protean Orlando Organization. to have some phone sex with a leprechaun? Oh yeah, a real live, barely legal leprechaun. What do you think? I didn't go bra. Where's me pot of gold? Put your penis in me over the phone. <laughs> yeah, we know that makes you hot. 100% hardcore bitch-ass leprechauns right for the picking. Just steal daddy's cell phone, lock your bedroom door, and dial 1-900-TINY-SEXY-EVIL. That's 1-900-TINY-SEXY-EVIL. Call now. Brought to you by AT&T. AT&T, we do stuff with phones. Welcome back. And now, with the latest news from the front lines of the war in Yemen, here's political correspondent, Tripe Tango. Tripe? Where the hell are you, Tripe? Thank you, Paul. Here's the latest. Bleep bleep ding dong do. Ibachi pakadong enama. Bidado. Ibala kujikini bibi uti tu. Pipi pupu kaka. Bing dang dong. Flink, flink, flink. Yemen, 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 Yemen. Bichi tun in the goody. Kibitin kuchi fling. Baba duchi bubu king. Kukwaka, kukwaka, kukwaka. Kichi. Abalash kunigales. Bitatu. Vina gunigalet. Ningdodu istata. Kun es gudiada. Bandi du gidi bingbu. Fing, fang, fing, fang, fung. Shini Gole Gaga. That's where we stand right now. I'm Tripe Tango. Back to you, Father Muckers. Thank you for the report, Tripe. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in. We just received a newswire story that hits us here at No Positive Radio News close to the heart. Apparently, No Positive weatherman Charlie Kim 
has been arrested for allegedly stealing a marked bag of gold doubloons from the Chamber of Commerce building. He is now being arraigned by incumbent District Attorney-elect Bill Johnson, who as of late has been himself under fire for being quote-unquote full of Christ. Sources that wish to remain anonymous report to our correspondents that, in fact, Bill Johnson is actually responsible for the depraved thievery of the gold doubloons, and he, allegedly, is framing ne'er-do-well Charlie Kim, a local lowly Korean meteorologist, for the heinous crime. In a related story, Associated Press reports indicate that the name of this anonymous source is, ironically, Charlie Kim. A convoluted story to be sure, and one we will continue to follow until the public makes up its simple mind, or we just get damn bored with it, whichever comes first. And now we send it over to our Arts and Opinions desk for an editorial with our own Dirty John Winterbottom. Johnny? Hey there, folks. Dirty John here with today's editorial. Let me just start with one word. Cars. Cars? Who needs them? And then you have railroads. Railroads! totally unnecessary. Swamps and trees? Don't get me started. Swamps and trees need to go the way of the remote control. And soon. Look, I'm no bigot, but elevators are on the outs. That much I know. And how about the Spanish word for gringo? Gringo? I don't think so. No habla espanol. And hooked on phonics? Come on. Those damn kids who can read need to be shaken violently. Too many smart kids spoil the brew. By the way, here's a great Mexican recipe. Layer a bacon pan with cream cheese, two pints of medium to hot salsa, one can of refried beans, and top with a yummy cheese of your choice. Bake at 350 for 35 minutes, and voila! You, my friends, are south of the border. So to close, potato puffs and chives? I'm Dirty John, and I'm mad as hell, but I can take it for a few more minutes. Back to you in the studio, Paul. Thank you very much, Dirty John. Dirty John Winterbottom with another exquisite and immaculate editorial. Ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Paul Hullabaloo. This is all the time we have for the news. Coming up next, we'll be fielding your phone calls after this obligatory news music. Let's play the news music right now. Shall we, Ryan Garmersall, shall we play the news music? Yes, please. Let's get it going. The news music gives me an emotional erection. Here's the news music. We worked very hard to bring you this news music as well as these news reports. Now give me a half of a goddamn second to get rid of this news friggin' voice. Ah, I'm back again. (laughs) But I'll let the news music play out. (laughs) Yeah, fun. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, during that whole thing, during that whole news uh, segment that we were doing, I wanted to let you know that we got a phone call here at the station from Dirty John Winterbottom who apparently had something really important he had to tell us. He had a, 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 a street report he had to do. So, Dirty John, if you're listening, please feel free to call into the station right now with that report. Something must be going down, because there, here he is right now. Bill, tell me when we're ready. <laughs> Dirty John? Yes. Okay, he's there. Good. Congratulations, everyone. We've made actually made a call work for the first time. <laughs> it's amazing. Go ahead, Dirty John. Welcome to the show. How are you? Uh, very well, very well. All right. I, I, I'm out and about, as I usually am, you know. Right. You know me. And I happened upon one of these lakes you speak of. <laughs> By the way, isn't it funny you're always having to be out and friggin' about when we're when you're supposed to be here and friggin' a, a fear doing the show? You know, isn't that, isn't that funny? It's fun. It's all have a good laugh. Let's just giggle it out. Giggling's therapeutic. Go ahead. What, you found, you're at a lake, apparently. We're at one of these lakes that you speak of. Yes. And, and basically... It's very cold, it's very wet, and uh, there seem to be people out uh, in the middle of it uh, in these wooden boats. Dirty John, by all friggin' means, get to those people, explain to them in a loud voice that they should not be out there. These lakes are dangerous, these lakes... We don't need any vigilante street justice for these lakes. We don't need anyone to become a hero, folks. These lakes should be considered armed and dangerous. Dirty John, oh. do your job. Okay, I'm going to try to explain that to them, okay? No, no, why do you ever... Why is it always at the boil down to you trying to do something? Why can't you just... <laughs> why can't you just do it? Well, they're very far out in the lake, I gotta tell you. Well, get a friggin' bullhorn. Go to the bullhorn <laughs> factory and get a friggin' bullhorn. Uh, okay, I'm going to go deal with these people. You get back to the show... And uh, I'll call you if there's any uh, surprising news updates. Yes, and and you go deal with those people. And hey, whenever you damn well feel like it, why don't you get back to the show too? (laughs) 
I mean, I'm here friggin' pushing buttons, touching levels, turning knobs. <laughs> Sounds it's, good, though. It's my. It's a chagrin. What's a chagrin? Does anybody, anybody know what a chagrin is? Bill? Dirty John? No. Ryan? No. All right. It's a chagrin, all right, folks? Okay. It's a damn chagrin. All right, Dirty John, thanks for the call. Good luck, okay. brother. Stay away from those r- those rubber rafts, too. Okay. All right? Peace. Are you, hey, hey, wait. What? Are what? you wearing that handsome sweater I saw you wearing yesterday? No. Oh. No, I, like I, don't, that. I don't wear thing, things two days in a row. I know? like that sweater. Oh, thank you. A sweater you can get away with wearing two days in a row, correct? <laughs> Right? Uh, I would say so. Yes, you can wear a sweater two days in a row. Okay, never gonna. St- Some people wear business suits. As long as you three. wear, as long as you wear like a shirt underneath. Yeah, you want to change the undershirt. Yeah, but oh. the sweater itself is well, not I mean, touching the, the skin. The underwear you can you can leave on for a few days because no one's gonna see that. Right, no one knows. Nobody cares, yeah. especially you. You certainly aren't sharing your undergarments with anybody. <laughs> well, you just you flip them inside out. All right, yeah. all right, stay out of trouble. Bye bye. Bye. I don't like it when people say bye bye. I like it when they just give me a firm goodbye or, or just say bye. You know, I'm not a kindergartner. You know, I don't need a, a pat on the ass on the way out the door. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to take your calls. If you feel like calling, you're welcome to call. If you want to talk about the winter weather, if you want to talk about love, if you want to talk about sacrilege, if you want to talk about sacrifice, if you want to talk about enticing menu items that you've seen recently, if you want to talk about recipes, if you want to talk about kissing, if you want to talk about hugging, I guarantee you the first two calls will be about kissing and hugging. You bill that you want to talk about kissing and hugging, or you'll accept calls about kissing and hugging. Right. They'll all call about kissing and hugging. Ladies and gentlemen, the number is 792-9030. If I don't get a call in 30 seconds, I'm walking the frig out of this place. 792-9030. And if it's Dirty John again, I'm walking the frig out of this place. 792-9030. Can we make a little, little, a little sing song, a little jingle? Bam, let's try it. Hello there, this is No Positive Radio. Who are you? Hi, this is Chris. Chris from Mavericks. That's correct. How are you, Paul? I'm doing very well. <laughs> Much better now that you're on the line. What's Mavericks? Well, that's oh. good. Let me tell you, Ryan, you ask what Mavericks is. It's a bar that I frequent uh, over on Angel Street. Is that Angel Street? Chris? Yeah. Pa- oh, okay. I thought I <laughs> bored you already. You're like, no, no, this, no, kid, no, no, no. this kid's weak. <laughs> what, is uh, Mavericks the bar? Is that on Angel Street in Providence? Yeah, it's on. I guess it's on Angel Street. Yeah, that's 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 where we met. <laughs> yeah, we met there. We 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 were giving each other glances. I felt I was uh, malingering around the bar in a drunken. He's, he's calling well, about the kissing and the hugging. Girl, right? I don't know, and I just want to talk to her. You I, want to talk to the girl? You weren't interested really in my shenanigans. No, 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 not at all. You and your friend, no. No, we were just we were out of control. Exactly. We were being loud, my friend, uh, the tattoo artist and illustrator Larry DeGiusto Jr., and who, myself. He was a very nice guy, by the way. He's very nice, yeah. but he's a mean drunk. Why does everybody well, want to shoot him, then? He mean to me. He seemed, he seemed very mild and very inquisitive about, you know, things that were going on in the bar. And He wants to, he want, he's the type of guy who goes into the bar, ten minutes later, everyone in the bar knows exactly who he is. Isn't, isn't that weird? He said, yeah, well, I, I met him, yeah, before I met you, actually. You did? Yes, that's correct. That night, though? That's correct, yes. Really? Yes. And who did you get a better vibe from, me or him? Well, you you seem, well, you, you were both different. I, I really can't say who I got a better vibe from. I mean, I, I think your girlfriend was the nicest of the three of you. Ever really? Heard. She was nice. She's got a, a set of uh, pert breasts. Perky <laughs> breasts. Pert is a shampoo. Excuse me. Well, I couldn't see that. I think she's wearing a sweater or something, but... Yes, I keep her. I keep her in turtlenecks. Well, that's smart. It's, it's, that's my type of cleavage. The chin. That's my cleavage. It's good to do. <laughs> yeah. So, how old are you, Chris? Oh, I'm 38. And what do you do for a living? I'm a waiter. Really? Yeah. And do you enjoy doing that? Oh, I hate it. Okay. I can't stand it. I assumed that that would be the answer. Yeah. What do you think about the winter months? Well, the winter months. In what way? Do they? Uh, are you part of the the? Uh, a calculated 63% of, of people who listen to the show that are, are for the winter or the 37% who are against it? Well, I don't really mind it, but I'd prefer not to have it. Really? Yeah. So, uh, I, well, you know, how, how can I classify you? I need to classify you. I need to categorize you. Well, categorize me as someone who doesn't really mind it, prefers not to have it. Boy, a true American soul here. Someone who is a- unable to make a goddamn decision. Exactly. Isn't this great? Welcome to America. I'm folks. a libertarian when it comes to meteorology. Have you ever met Robert Shunk? No, I haven't. Okay. You'd like him. He's a libertarian, too. 
if yeah, I remember. Well, or it's, a, it's a hard thing to categorize. Right? Libertarian, we're, Nazi. We're, we're very wishy-washy. Yeah, you guys are wishy-washy. I know. So I know. We hang out in bars too late, and we wait tables, and we don't like what we do. I thought you had a very friendly, charismatic smile. Well, that that's good. Yes. That's good. I thought that about you. You can see that on the radio, but yeah, that's good. No. I, I, you can hear it, though. It does transmogrify. It does transmute through the radio waves that you have a nice smile. Well, that's all right. I'm smiling now. My I can tell. My girlfriend's laughing at me. She's in. Now, you're admitting that you were looking at my girlfriend with your girlfriend there. Do you guys have an open relationship? Well, we're not open in that sense, no, no. But I just figured that, you know, just spice up your conversation a bit on the radio. Oh. Why? I'm not spicy enough for you? I'm not a friggin' well, fiesta? I think, I, I, well, I think you're very spicy, but, you know, you, you can always you, you always improve on things. You know? Oh, well. Everyone's a goddamn critic. I got guys calling up now. They're producing my show for me, apparently. Giving well, me you notes. You begged me to call. What do you want me to talk about? The weather, I mean. You know, oh, I'm weather, incorrigible. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding, Chris. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> what's your girlfriend's name? Uh, well, she's Julie. Well, you had to think about that. <laughs> I'm thinking, should I say that on the air? I mean, well, no one's going to be like, oh, that girl Julie? Listen, if I say any, if I swear or something, can you beep it out? I mean, Well, do you have to swear? Do you feel uh, you have Tourette syndrome? Do you feel a compulsion? Well, forget was it. I like that. <laughs> Can you put Julie on? Well, I could put her on. She's shaking her head. She doesn't want to be on. No, oh, no, okay. no, no. She doesn't, she's, just, she's just staying way out of this. You know? The voluptuous ones never want to come on the air. How do you, how do you know I, that? It's just some... some I'm weird like that. <laughs> I can see. I get a like, mental image about people. You're I can tell... Authentic. She's got like a wavy dark hair to her. Dark hair, yes. Mm -hmm. Not really wavy, though. Not really I, wavy. See, when I picture people, I picture them in a uh, friggin' wind tunnel. Like a, like a dream sequence with a wind tunnel. So I always picture wavy. Is that some kind of fetish, or is that just a... Uh, I, I, I'm, I get sexually aroused by wind tunnels, normally. <laughs> that's something that's been going on with me for a while. I call up wind tunnel chat lines and stuff and look for women who are down with wind tunnels. It's tough to hear them over the phone when they're in the wind tunnel. Right. But, man, I'm going to tell you, the, the one or two words, the mutterings that you can hear, boner. Let me ask you a question. You, you were talking about current events and news yeah. earlier on? The news. Oh, is that something new for the, for the show? I decided this week I was going to do a news broadcast. And did that, did that, is that going well for you? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, it's hard for me to gauge my own show. You, I mean. you tell him. Yeah, what do you think? Did you like it? No. Well, I think, I think, I think it went well. <laughs> you know, well, again, with a libertarian here. Can you tell me whether you liked it or not? Don't give me the wish wash and the smick smack. Well, it, sound, it sounded good. But it did, you, you didn't know, like the. I mean, you know, the. Uh, you didn't like the content. Well, the content, yes. Well, I mean, the content was interesting. <laughs> well, then what's the problem? You need more international things. I, mean, I didn't do. I, I'm, a, I'm a domestic newsman. Yeah, I, I've got an hour here. I was here. told that. I was told that. Yeah. Yes, I was. I was told that. Yes, that that, you, that local events are are more your forte versus. I, I cover the local Rhode Island uh, slash Massachusetts slash uh, forty eight other state issues. Right, right. But you don't think the rest of the world impacts the other forty eight states? In I just, I just accidentally cut you off by uh. pushing the cutoff button. <laughs> so I'm hoping that a girl's going to call now. <laughs> All right, everyone at home, paint me to look like a big jerk. I know. Am I a big jerk? No. Now I'm going to no. bump into this guy at Mavericks again. No, that was an accident. We didn't mean to cut you off yet. Don't try to call up because your phone line won't get through. <laughs> oh, Mavericks boy. got some kind of like I want to take the line. Or something like that. No positive radio. Well, this is. <laughs> Can you hurry up the other one? If this is better be a girl, I've had enough talking to critics and libertarians. I want to talk to a girl. I want to talk to a, a young lady who wants to tell me what's up, what's the word on the, the street right now, how I'm doing, if I'm got an A-plus for the show or a B-minus. I know I won't sink below a B-minus. Ryan, your thoughts? Um, I'm going with an A right now. Hold on. No positive radio. Hi. And who's this? Laura. Laura, my old standby. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? How are you this week? I'm good. Yeah? What's the matter? Why do you sound a little down and out? Um... Uh, Who the hell is laughing in the background? What do they think I'm a big joke? <laughs> Am I Michaela. a big joke now to your friends? No. No. That's Michaela, the one that kind of wants to yeah. go out with me. Yeah. How old is she again? How old is she? She's fourteen. Oh, oh nice. nice. So nice. Yeah. That's so nice. So innocent. So young. So yeah. thought provoking. Yeah. So hang controversial. On. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Sorry, Megan. Can you can you do me a favor? Can you hold the phone up and I want to hear all of you giggling at once? Can we have a bunch of can we have a gaggle of giggling fourteen year olds? Go, go, go. 
Go. <laughs> That's what I can... And giggle, <laughs> giggle. I don't want to hear your, your histories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to giggle, too. I want to giggle, too. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Don't make fun of me. Have you ever seen the television miniseries Roots? No. What, you don't like black people? Ah, <laughs> oh, giggle, giggle, giggle. Sorry. Giggle, giggle, giggle. giggle. Oh, I'm a racist? Am I a racist? Yes, I am. There are th uh, three races I do not, uh, I, d I don't, uh, what's the word with? Uh, what's the word you don't, uh, uh, uh like, I don't, uh, like, no, I don't not like, like is a first grade word, that I don't, uh, I don't, uh, 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 agree? Uh, no, not agree, that's accept. the, no, accept, no. Thank you, Ryan. I don't associate with three races. I don't like the Chinese, because they invented too many calculators in the 60s. That's terrible. I don't like the Japanese, all right? Because, because you know what, you can go out very easily and get Chinese food, but you cannot find Japanese food unless you live in San Francisco. Oh, well, geez. you shouldn't not like them because. Of and, that. and 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 I don't like the Koreans. And you want to know why I don't like the okay. Koreans? Um, sure. Because they were bred by gray aliens, and they're smarter than me. <laughs> I don't like any race of people or persons or personas that are smarter than me. Do yeah. you do you kiss Asian yeah. guys? Do you kiss Asian guys? Yes, of course. Okay. Every day. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I got another call. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Bye bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, seven nine two nine zero three zero. We're taking calls from people who don't like races, people who don't like racists, and Nazis. Those are the three people who we can call. I'd love to get a Nazi to call, like, but 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 but, but the ghost of a Nazi. I want the ghost of a Nazi to call today. Is it possible? Bill, will the phone pick up the, the, the psychic uh, 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 voice of a, the ghost of a Nazi, by any chance? 792-9030 is the hotline straight to my heart. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul Hullabaloo. This is No Positive Radio, and we're going downhill fast. Here it is. Let's try it. Ready? Hello, No Positive Radio. Hey, this is the ghost of Hitler. Oh, you got a ghostly voice. Yeah, don't I, though. Now it went away. Ah. Uh. All right. Fun. So let's take. No, nah, man. Totally anti-hate. You're anti-hate. Anti-hate. I guess I'm on the wrong show. I don't know. I just tuned in. So theoretically, you hate hate. So therefore, um, you hate. Yeah, you got me there. Yeah. Now, what race do you hate the most? I don't hate any race. I I, I don't like people who who milk the system. What are you, an idealist? I'm a mean, hippie? Are you a hippie idealist? No, I'm more, I'm, I'm more like a blue collar. Idealist, maybe. Oh, God forbid. I mean, I know I called you a hippie idealist. You're a blue collar idealist. Hi hippies are dirty. No, they do. Hippies, dirty. Hippies and punks are normally very uh, uh, stink oriented. Yeah, that's where I draw the line. So you're saying now you don't like the Koreans, you don't like the hippies, and you don't like the punks? Oh, I like the punks. Oh, well, now you're like. Punk. Now, who, you're a punk? Um, in, in theory, maybe, yeah. Am I? A, am I a punk? Um, I don't know you. All right, well, the hell with you. You're cut off. Who's next? I can't take it. You don't know me. You don't get to get on my broadcast. You don't like hate someone. Let's talk. We're done, we've gone past the winter. We're not talking. We're talking about hate now. Who do we hate? Who do you hate? Just tell me who you hate. If you want to tell, talk about a specific person, go ahead. Ready? John from Albert. No positive radio. Who's there? Hi. Um. This is Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? I'm doing good. You going good, good, good? Okay. Let's try that again. Bill, what are you doing back there? Bill apparently hates me now because he's. Looks like they're on line one now, Bill. Ready? No positive radio. Hello? I heard them hang up. Why do people hang up? Have a little patience. You want to get on the air with the true underground celebrity? Have a little patience. 792-9030. This is the hate hour here at WRIU. We got him? No positive radio. Hey, I'm calling to weigh in on the issues. All right. Well, what do, we, what do you want to weigh in on? Well, uh, first off, I want to weigh First off, can I ask you on... something? Absolutely. Are you a heavy set person? Have you said are you, in what department? All right, uh, did you pack on some pounds for the oncoming winter, basically? Uh, yeah, but not what you'd expect. I can hear heaviness in your voice. I, well, yeah, I'm a very, you know... Yeah. Heavy. You're very heavy. Heavy, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Weigh in on... Weigh, quote, unquote, weigh in on the issues. Weigh! <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, you know, I was calling... Uh, I was a little worried about uh, folks that are famous, uh, you know, sort of the, the Hollywood types that like to... Like myself. But yeah, well, I was heading there. The folks right. like the vulture on the, the 14, 15, 13-year-old crowd. 
Uh, that's uh, well, I I'm only 15. I'm I'm a I'm like the Doogie Howser of WRIU radio. I'm a prodigy. You know, even if you're the same age, if you're both underage, it's still against the law. Really? That's what they say. And what? Who are you? The Are you going to call the police on me? Not personally. The only young girls that I personally sleep with, behind my girlfriend Blake's back, the only young girls, only ones, are white girls. No how black old, girls. How old is Blake? Blake? I don't want to say, because you'll call the police. <laughs> how long have you been seeing Blake? Uh, ever since I was neutered. And that was... Third grade. Third grade. Have you ever heard of John Monez? I have. Oh, really? No. <laughs> so send a little shout-out to him. This, this shout-out goes to my pal, John Monez. Yes, he's a tattoozler. So let's really? continue. Let's continue discussion. Who do you, what do you think of the winter? You like it? No. A heavy set guy like you, you, you've got, you're, you have a better chance of dealing with it than a thin little guy like me. Well, here's the problem. It's not heavy set fatty. Yeah. It's not heavy set, which was mentioned in the news segment. Your, mo your mother told you you were rotund. You're the type of kid who should wear two sweaters to school, right? I'm a husky. You're a husky. Yes. You got hairy arms, don't you? Yes. Guys like you need to learn a lesson. Your hairline doesn't go down your back. Start shaving the back of your neck. You know what well, I'm saying? I do shave the back of my I can't neck. stand people who don't shave the back of their necks. And but don't I look at mine. He said, he said douche. You, I douche shave the back of my neck. I douche and I shave the back of my neck. Well, it's a very specific type of shaving. Right. It's a little more sensitive that way. Well, I thank you for your call. Thank you. <laughs> Is there somebody else? Let's try it. Wait. Hold on. Stay on the line. We're going to get you on the air. Un momento. I'd like to say real quick, Mike Moresca, host of Kind Sounds, just entered the building. I like that kid. He's always half bearded. He's like the oldest brother from Party of Five. It's amazing that he could keep half a beard every day of his life. That takes work. Is it easy? I think so. A lot of potheads, they don't like to sh they don't get the electric razor thing. I got it. You have that? Every three weeks. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's good. And then you let it go. Three weeks? Three weeks, every two wow. weeks or so. Wow. Let's, let's take a call. No positive radio. Hello? Hi there. Hi. Who's this? This is Annie. Annie, I don't think you've ever called, have you? No. Oh, sorry. Are you being attacked by a robot? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Annie's being electrocuted by my yeah. sensual voice. What's up? Nothing. What do you want to talk about, sweetie? Um, I don't know. What are you guys doing? Oh, haven't you been listening? What, are you call me? I want me to give you a recap? Want me to run you through the highlights? <laughs> oh, let's you see. I, so obnoxious. I came in a bad mood. I have a stomach problem as well as spit lip. I got on the air, battled on. <laughs> Apparently the content wasn't good enough for some libertarian somewhere in nowhere. Uh, well. I heard about the libertarian. What the hell's up with that? Why call? Don't, don't call know. up and critique me if I invite you on the air with me. Well, I don't know. What, do you have something to say? You got a problem with me? No, I actually liked your newscasting. I thought it was kind of funny. Oh, so it's, now it's only kind of funny. God <laughs> forbid. Maybe someday I'll make something that'll actually be genuinely funny. <laughs> it's a work in friggin' progress. Oh, okay. Do you, have, you have long hair, don't you? Well, sometimes. Oh, what, do you... Some sort of a strange creature? <laughs> 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 I what? cut it every now and then. Oh. It's not that long. How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, I like that. Do you think she'll you audition like for the weather You're girl? You're talking to 14 year olds. That's weird. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. You, are you interested in radio at all? Um, I like it. Do you want to audition to be my we uh, my, my weather girl? Okay. Seriously? Yeah. You can seriously. come in next week and do an on-air audition. Wow. What do you think? I would love it. When I get, don't hang up, because when I'm going to send you over to the pr pr programming director, Ryan Garmersall, he's going to take your information down for you. Oh, cool. Right. I need a job, actually. I'll pay you in, uh... Dirty oh. looks and hugs. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I like. I like this girl. She laughs at my goony jokes. Oh, I like her. What now? So what? You're Annie, right? Yes. Well, what what prompted you to listen today? I don't know. I was just. It's winter session right now. I go to RISD. Oh, you go to RISD. I yeah. love. I, I love RISD. You do. Well, what do you study there? I'm printmaking and art history. Really? Yeah. You couldn't decide which one you wanted more. Well, Am I a printmaker or an art historian? <laughs> what? I mean, where do I? Where do I fall? You can be both. I know. It's a kind of a strange correlation there. Yeah, right? I guess. So, essentially, you're going to end up being a first grade school teacher. Well, thanks. No, I'm, not, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Trust me, I'm on a tough road myself. Yeah, okay. I'm going to Rome next year, so... Oh, Lottie friggin' da. I'll be hey. sitting in this chair in the cold winter. Can I? Is, so, you're going to go to Rome on the Rome program. Yeah. You're going to study great works of art. Yeah. And overly greased up men. Oh, God. Yeah, they're weird over I've there. I've heard about them. They're going to give you the looks. They don't shave their beards either, like this kid Mike Moresco is coming up next. They don't shave their backs, their beards, their legs. 
and they're all hippies over there. Damn they're hippies. hippies? Yeah, they wear hemp. Like well, I hope they ride those little uh, mopeds. Mopeds, yeah. yeah. You're gonna hop on the back. Your hair, your your short, the long hair flowing in the breeze. There's nothing sexy about a moped. I no. have to tell you. There's nothing cool about it. No. It's even cooler to ride a uh, goddamn ten-speed. <laughs> I think, because at least <laughs> I you're, agree. at least you're like Lance Armstrong with butt cancer riding around. Didn't he have the cancer? <laughs> and he's still driving bikes. He doesn't care. <laughs> no one told him he had cancer. Like, no, no, don't worry about it, dude. It's just the stomach ache. Get on the bike. Go. Oh, my God. Win. That's so wrong. <laughs> I know. I'm rotten. I'm rotten to the friggin' core. Aren't I? But you're yep. strangely attracted to my voice, aren't you? Yeah. I don't nice. know. It's amazing. Isn't it how I do that to girls? <laughs> it's called the art of manipulation. Wow. What do you think about sexual innuendo? Sexual innuendo? Like or double sex? entendre? Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Where am I? <laughs> so you feel you have the freedom to ask this to like anybody and uh what do you want to do what did you just say <laughs> never mind i don't know where i am i pay attention i stop paying attention for one second i don't even know what show this is oh uh, huh all right i gotta i gotta go but okay. i'm gonna give you to ryan he's gonna take your information you can come do an on-air uh thing with me okay all right bye annie bye. Hello, everybody. This is Paul again. We've got Kind Sounds coming up next. I just want to do something real quick because I'm always behind. I'm always behind in putting in my CD, my closing music. i got some thank yous at the end of the show here. Let me put in the music first. I like to I like to put in the music before I do my thank yous. Before I put on my, my cowboy voice, which I do at the end of each show. Hold on, folks. Hold on. I, the CD player is giving me the jibbles. Hold on. There we go. Okay, apparently the CD player is not going to go. Is that going to go now? What is going on here? There we go. <laughs> I made it work. I'm technological genius. Ladies and gentlemen, i got a few thank yous for Mike Moreska and Kind Sounds. Come on. John and La John Monez, Larry Justo Jr., two amazing tattoo artists, electricinktattoo.com, Dolores Bill, Damian Alexandra White, Kristen, Jeff Phillips, Jeff Phillips. Jeff, call me, please, call me, or let's do something tomorrow or the next day. Jay Brem, Jay Brem, the minister of all that is cool, the minister of all that is expensive, Jay Brem. I also want to thank, of course, Bill Parker. The Children's Show airs uh, Sundays preceding this show, 5 to 8 p.m. Annie, I want to thank. Uh, Laura, of course, I want to thank. Jackie, out there, wherever you are, I send you a hello. Hope everything's going well. I want to thank Ryan Garmersaw, the program director. You can hear his show Wednesdays from uh, 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 3 to 6 p.m. right here. RIU. Also, you can see him tonight live at the Liquid Lounge in Providence, DJing the, the 70s funk. If I forgot you, I'll remember you next week. I love you. Until next week, this is Paul Hullablu asking you kindly subject, oppose, subvert, and always live the lie. See you next week. By the way, if you want to get in touch with me, nopositive at AOL.com. That's nopositive at AOL.com. Bye.